Look, he's come out for birthday lunch with me. Today is Friday the 9th of December. I didn't have to look at my phone for the date today because it's my birthday. So I am 29 today, which is exciting. I don't know, I feel a bit funny about 29, honestly. I think 30th is like something to look forward to, like a milestone. 29 just feels a bit like nothing in like last year in my 20s it's a bit weird really but it's nice to have a birthday on a friday although at the moment i'm just home alone i've woken up to an empty flat because obviously rich works i'm gonna get some work done this morning and then i think i'm meeting my family for lunch i basically round together everyone who works for themselves which in my family is a lot of people so i think i'm going for lunch with my sisters my mum my brother-in-law and my dad so that should be nice i think i've got some birthday cards in the kitchen so i might go open those now Oh look, I've got lots of cards, Rich has laid them all out for me, and I think this is a present from him. I don't know whether to wait though, I'm not going to see him till dinner, and then maybe after dinner, ooh I don't know. I've just put myself in for a blow dry at the dry by because my hair suddenly got greasy and I hate washing my hair on the weekends, I hate washing my hair all the time, but on the weekends, no, I have not got time for that, so <laughs> I've put myself in for a birthday blow dry later. Waking up, feeling I've got a present here which I think is from Rich's parents because his sister brought it down earlier in the week. Oh yay, it's one of these like hanging. Okay, so I wanted one of these. I hope it's not too heavy. I wanted one of these to hang, like here, it's quite big, mm, I'm not sure if that will work, we'll try and make it work. I'm going to open Rich's present, he said he didn't mind whether I waited or not, so I've got nothing else to do right now apart from boring work. Super cheesy card, but I bet he really loved the first card that says, happy birthday to my wife. Aww. I know him so well. I tried to find the cheesiest wife card out there and this will be the first of many. <laughs> I'm so intrigued as to what this is because I didn't ask for anything and there really is nothing that I want or need. So I'm very intrigued. It's a cashmere grey beanie from Anthropology. Oh my god, I'm gonna try this on right now. Very excited about this. I'm gonna do some work and I'll come back to you guys in an hour or so. I'm gonna take my Olympus pen with me because my mum said that I've been sent a new Olympus lens and I'm so excited to try it, so I'm gonna take this with me and head to her house after lunch. Also, look how great the Olympus pen fits in my Gucci Soho disco bag with plenty of room for other stuff. Okay, so here's the interesting part of the day. I'm now gonna get in a car and drive and I haven't driven since the accident. I'm not like worried about it because I don't wanna like be dramatic about something that isn't dramatic. I've been driving for 11 years. I will be absolutely fine. I'm driving a courtesy car and it's like a brand of car that I've never driven before. Um, I've had two cars since I learned how to drive so I haven't really tried driving that many different types of cars so I'm like a little bit apprehensive that it's the first time driving since the crash and it's a new type of car but I'm sure I'd be fine, I'm not driving far. I'm gonna go have some lunch with my family and I need to stop doing work because it's my birthday. Oh, I just got in the car. Rich is so cute and thoughtful. Look, he's already tuned in Heart Christmas Radio because I was so sad that we've just tuned that into our old car and then we lost it. Oh, thanks, Rich. Because it's my birthday, I bought myself some Milky Bar buttons. I'm going to keep them in my bag for later. I've been given some birthday cards from the kids. Honey wrote this and drew this. Did she draw this or did Bailey draw this? She drew that. So clever. What about this one? A pretty flower for you. Oh, thanks. Nice. Is this her as well? That's Bailey. Jojo bought me this really nice print that I asked for from Urban Outfitters. I need to find a frame for it and put that in my office. Look, he's come out for birthday lunch with me. You have a lovely nap. 
yeah. We had a really yummy lunch. I just come back to my parents to pick up some post. Oh look, if any of you saw on Snapchat, I was laughing at my mum who was picking up all the leaves from outside because she wants to dry them for Christmas. Look how good they look. Also, my mum has the Liberty Advent Calendar. I very, very kindly gave her mine. Oh my God, look how beautiful it is. I just thought she would appreciate it so much more because I've got so much beauty stuff. Let's see if she's done today's. Nine. Oh, she's already done it. So, so pretty. Oh, this is such a nice birthday card from um, the team at Look Good, Feel Better. Thank you. Such a pretty card. This is MAC Velvet Teddy. It's in like a special limited edition packaging because they've released a perfume version of the lipstick. It's not exactly to my taste of scent, but I think it's really cool that they're making perfumes for some of their like cult lipsticks. And this is one of them. I actually love this lipstick. I have this from Neil's Yard, which is their aromatherapy bath and massage oils. And these look so nice. This is the Nourish Citrus collection from Neil's Yard and Jess sent me this from Neil's Yard because Anna raves about it and we met up with her earlier in the month and Anna was like, how have you not tried the citrus shower gel? This is what she's raves about. So I'm very much looking forward to trying this. I'm gonna give it a little sniff now. In this box is a lens from Olympus. Let me get it out. So this is the 45 millimeter f1.8 lens, sorry. It's meant to be quite similar to the Canon 50 mil, so it's really zoomed in, but because it goes down to an f1.8, you get a really nice blur in the background of the photos. So this is what I think most kind of fashion bloggers use as their main lens, and it's definitely better than the kit lens that I've currently got on the camera. So I'm gonna switch it up now and show you. So this is what I've currently got on there. It's the 14 to 42 millimeter. Um, and it's nice, but you know, you can't get that really nice blur and it's quite limiting. So I'm gonna switch lenses now. So this lens is blue, which is kind of a shame, I guess, because it definitely makes the camera look different because it's like all nice and black. Um, but that's fine. It's definitely a lot bigger, so it makes the camera feel heavier and it sticks out a lot more, which means it takes up more bag space, or if you're wearing it around your kind of shoulder, it sticks out a lot more. I've taken a before and after photo, so this is with the original kit lens, um, so you can kind of see, you can get a bit of blur in the background, but not too much. And then if I put the new lens on and put it all the way down to 1.8, it's definitely a lot more zoomed in, but as you can see, the background is like completely blurred out and it's really nice and crisp. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. I think I'll use the Olympus camera a lot more with this new lens, so I'm definitely excited to try it this weekend. I've just come home really quickly to dump my stuff, change my top, because we're going to a restaurant tonight called Duck and Rice, and it's a Chinese restaurant in Soho. We've never been before, and I'm always really unsure when I go to a new restaurant whether I'm gonna come out smelling like cooking. I really, really hope I don't because I'm getting my hair done and it would just be such a waste. But I've changed out of my cashmere jumper because that needs to be dry cleaned. So I do not want that to have smell of cooking. So hopefully it will be a really nice dinner. I'm gonna go to town, get my hair done and then meet Rich after work. It's so dark already, but I'm gonna walk to the tube station, get the tube there because congestion charge, whatever, boring stuff. Do I have time to show you? Oh, I'll quickly show you what I was given by my family for my birthday. My sister Carly actually got me a voucher for Society6, which is a really cool website if you want to buy like um, prints for your wall. But then as a little extra gift, she got me this gift, um, this game, sorry, to play at New Year's Eve. My mum got me this how-to hygge book, which looks so good. And um, my auntie got me this, which is Inside Vogue. My mum also bought me some really nice Whistles gloves. I haven't got time to take them out now, but they're like a burgundy colour and they're really warm inside. Maybe I'll put these on now, although it's not like cold at the moment. And then I showed you my sister got me this um, cactus print for my wall. So I'm gonna have lots of prints for my gallery wall. It's good. Dry by on Mortimer Street is my favourite place to get a blow dry because it's not a hair salon. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like a hairdresser. It's not like loud and stuffy and really busy. It's really like relaxing and calm. So I'm gonna pop in there now, get a quick hair wash and blow dry. Do you know there should be some kind of warning? Cause we've been down this road.
lady was really nice. Sorry in the cutaway if it looked like I was just on my phone the whole time, but it's kind of the beauty of that place. It's for people who like need to get their emails done and stuff. And then Hannah phoned me to wish me happy birthday and I'd already missed her phone call so I had to answer, but I felt really rude, so I tried to make it quick. We're now gonna go for dinner. Where is it? Soho? Yeah. Like, um, just off Wardour Street. We're gonna go to a place called Duck and Rice, which is Chinese food. It's Green Man. I'm really excited to eat yummy Chinese food. We're in the insane Liberty Christmas shop trying to find a topper for our tree. It's actually really quiet, we thought we'd be really busy. There's every ornament in the world to choose from, but we can't seem to find many tree toppers. Do you like that one, Rich? <laughs> We're gonna get five of these blue baubles to add a bit of colour to our tree. We both like blue. Ooh, those are really nice too though. This is where we're going, duck and rice. Getting told over and over again. Just on and off and on again. Oh, it's hard to feel it. So we pretend and then we're all fed. That was a really yummy dinner. I would highly recommend it. Do you enjoy? Oh yes. It was so good. We actually ended up cancelling some of the dishes because we got so full on like the duck and pancakes. But yeah, really good Chinese. It isn't like, you know, takeaway Chinese, like proper Chinese. I just got home and changed into some comfy clothes and Rich is like hysterical at how messy I've left the flat. So I'm gonna quickly open these flowers, which I got just before I came out and I didn't have time to open. I'm gonna open up the flowers, put them in a vase. Oh, do we have another vase? We haven't got enough surface area. We'll find somewhere to put them and then I'm gonna tidy this room. Oh, happy birthday, Lily. We hope you have a great day, love, from Anna and Mark. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, I need to send her a photo to say thanks and then I got them. Let me take a photo. Oh, I'm recording. I'm trying to take a photo, but I'm recording. Thanks for the flowers. They're so pretty. This was meant to be a photo, but I can't get my finger off the court. Oh. God, that was terrible. I'm just gonna send it to her. These are actually really beautiful. She obviously knows what colors I like. Rich, can you please reach up to one of those vases? The big one, please, preferably. These are the baubles we bought from Liberty. I'm gonna put them on the tree. Add a bit of color. These don't actually come with string, so we've just left the the label bit on, we're gonna use that to hang them. Very silly. Right, I bought five. So if I distribute them evenly, it'll be a blue Christmas. Ah, right, let's, now let's put the camera down. That looks so nice. I love the blue accents. Now our tree isn't too kind of colorless. Do you like it, Rich? Yep, bluey. <laughs> bluey. Now, did you prick yourself on a rose? Yes. Yeah. Now I need to tidy up this room. Oh. It's true this part of the year has something in store for Seeing as it's a special occasion, my birthday. Can you not swear in the background of my vlog? Seeing as it's a special occasion, I'm gonna light my Jo Malone orange bitters candle. And this is actually sold out everywhere so I feel very special to have one. Oh my god I can smell it already and it smells incredible. Rich be honoured that you're here for this. Oh Jesus okay I need to use both hands. It is literally the most beautiful candle Jo Malone have outdone themselves this year. Since the Gleam Christmas party I've been playing with my iPad Pro because Claire Marshall from Hey Claire, she said that she actually saw me write about this, which inspired her to get it. And she has been using it in such creative ways. I've used it to write on my thumbnails and like do things like that, but I had never thought about using it to write in videos. And she's been doing that in her Vlogmas videos. I would definitely recommend checking out her Vlogmas videos if you haven't yet. By far my favorite out of all the Vlogmas videos out there this month. She's so, so great. And yeah, it's definitely inspired me to think about how I can integrate using my iPad Pro into videos more. My handwriting is not as nice as hers at all, but I'm definitely thinking about in the new year, starting to annotate on some of my videos if it's kind of suitable. And I'm playing around with some different styles and practicing my handwriting and stuff. So thank you, Claire, for always inspiring me. Also, I was trying to convince Claire to do Everyday May 
So I think you should all go to Claire's channel and tell her to join me doing Everyday May because she said she's been really enjoying doing Vlogmas, so that would be fun. Rich is watching Suits, he's obsessed with it. We've put the flowers from Anna there and I'm gonna edit today's vlog. I'm just come to the end of my edit and realized I need to finish the vlog. For all of you that have been commenting on my lips for days, either asking me if I've had a lip job or why my lipstick was smeared at the Christmas party, it's all still because my lips are sore and I'm trying to get in contact with a dermatologist or something. But yeah, they're really, really painful. Thank you guys for watching today's vlog and for all your lovely birthday wishes on Twitter and Snapchat and everywhere. I will be vlogging again tomorrow. So actually, wait, this one's going up Saturday night. So you should see another video from me on Sunday morning, which will be my birthday video. And then I'll see you again on Monday evening. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.